Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to set up Wi-Fi or wireless internet on your Windows Phone device. Okay, so Wi-Fi or a wireless internet hotspot uh, is what you can use to connect to if you want to use the internet on your phone without using the data connection that your phone normally has that you pay for. Uh, there are a couple benefits to this. One is, let's say you don't have a data plan and you have a Wi-Fi area in your house or at Starbucks, you can connect to it uh, and surf the internet for free without having to pay for the data plan. The other benefit is that these Wi-Fi networks are generally a lot faster than your cell phone's data network. So, let's say you do have a data plan, but you just want to get faster speed and you happen to know that you're in a Wi-Fi hotspot. Well, you can connect to it, do that, and then surf the internet a lot faster. So, now that you know what Wi-Fi is, how do you connect to it using a Windows phone? Well, we'll show you right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to swipe over, scroll all the way down to settings, then scroll down again to Wi-Fi, and we're going to slide the slider to on. Okay, so you can check that off or on uh, if you want it to notify you when networks are available and you could just leave this Wi-Fi on like this and whenever you're wandering around, it'll pop a notification at the top saying new Wi-Fi found and let you know. The downside of this though, of course, is that that means your Wi-Fi antenna is on constantly and this will drain your battery significantly. So what we recommend is only turn this on when you know you're in a Wi-Fi hotspot and you're about to use Wi-Fi. As soon as you're done surfing the internet, streaming videos, whatever it is you're using the Wi-Fi for, turn that back off. Uh, this will save your battery a ton. So, now that we have it on and we're ready to connect to our Wi-Fi network, we're going to scroll through this list here and find the network that we want. Now you'll see all of these are secure because uh, they're getting picked up from other houses around us. Um, but you may be in a Starbucks and you'll see one say open or unsecured. If you click on that, it will automatically connect to it and you won't have to insert any type of password. But in this case, we're going to try to use the one we have here in the house. So we're going to click on the one that we know is our network. Then we're going to put in our password. Uh, which you can get off of the router or whoever set up your network initially. It's the same password that you put in whenever you try to connect, say, your laptop or your desktop computer to the Wi-Fi. Okay, eventually we'll say connected once you're connected to the wireless network. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hit home. We're going to go to Internet Explorer. And we're going to head to a website. Why not head to theunlocker.com? And so long as it loads, like so, uh, means you're all set. The Wi-Fi is working. Okay, and once you're done surfing, please remember again to go down to settings, go to Wi-Fi, and it off. Again, this will save you a lot of battery uh, related headaches. Okay, and then once you've entered that password once, just so you know, you never have to enter it again. To get back to that wireless network, I simply just turn on my Wi Fi. It's going to search for ones that it knows that I already know automatically. You'll see, like the one that we connected to earlier is at the top of the list, and automatically it connected to it. So you only have to go through that and entering the password once from then on, it's automatic. So there you go.